In this video, we're going to discuss two cybersecurity projects that involve intrusion detection and vulnerability scanning. If you're only interested in one of these, feel free to skip ahead. Starting us off, we have project number one, which will be focusing on intrusion detection. If this is not something you're already familiar with, well, let me tell you why you need to do it. By configuring and using an intrusion detection system, also known as an IDS, you'll learn how to analyze network behavior, interpret alerts, and understand the attacker's tactics. And to do all of this, we're going to use something called Suricata. This will allow you to develop expertise in monitoring network traffic and suspicious activity. So what is Suricata? Well, it's linked down below in the description so you can easily get to the link, which is what I'm showing you on the screen now. It will take you straight to the GitHub. It's basically an open source network intrusion detection and prevention system that monitors network traffic for suspicious activity and potential threats all within real time. So what you'll do is you'll begin this project by preparing a local Linux machine or Raspberry Pi, which will serve as the monitoring point for your network traffic. And after installing Suricata, you'll configure it to monitor potential network interfaces and adjust the settings for optimal detection of suspicious activities. And once it's running, Suricata will start to capture and analyze the network traffic in real time. And it will then start to generate any alerts for any potentially malicious behavior or policy violations. You'll then be able to regularly review these alerts or logs to understand the network patterns. And this will teach you a lot of skills that you'll do as a security analyst on the job. You'll see things like unauthorized access attempts or abnormal traffic spikes, all of which you can investigate. And based on your analysis, you can take appropriate actions. Things like blocking the IP addresses if you determine them to be malicious, or you can adjust the firewall settings accordingly. You'll also be able to use Suricata's rules and update them to ensure they can detect the latest threats. This all teaches you great skills, so I highly recommend this project. And it's really vital for real-time network security monitoring and response practice. Moving on to project number two, we have vulnerability scanning. This will equip you with the skills to identify and assess vulnerabilities in systems and networks, which is a critical component for cybersecurity roles. And by learning to set up a vulnerability scanner, which I'll show you shortly, you'll be able to define targets, analyze scan results, and gain actual practical experience in proactive risk management. So what are we going to be using to practice vulnerability scanning? Well, we'll be using OpenVAS, which stands for Open Vulnerability Assessment System. This again will be linked in the description below and you can visit the GitHub. It's an open source vulnerability scanner that helps organizations or people identify security weaknesses in their systems and or networks. So what will you be doing? Well, you'll start by setting up a local server to host OpenVAS, ensuring that it's up to date and ready for installation. Then after you've installed all the necessary packages, you'll access the OpenVAS web interface where you can manage scans and configurations. Updating the vulnerability feeds is probably one of the most crucial parts as it ensures the scanner has the latest information on known vulnerabilities. You will define specific targets, which can be things like IP addresses or range of devices that you want to assess, and then initiate the vulnerability scans and weaknesses in the systems. So make sure you know what you're targeting and scanning and you have permission to do so. And once the scans are complete, you'll be able to then analyze the reports which categorize the vulnerabilities by severity. So you'll get things like low, medium, high, and criticals. And this is very important for prioritization. You don't want to start with the lows, you'll want to start with the criticals. And this will allow you to practice what it's like in the real world working for an organization. And after applying fixes or updates to address the vulnerabilities that you've seen, you'll then schedule regular scans, for example, on the 27th of every month to maintain ongoing security monitoring making this project essential for proactive risk management. You'll see how they do it in real cases when in the job. Really great talking points for if you're going for an interview and you're talking about experience like this. If you need any help on these types of projects or you're interested to see how they are done, leave a comment down below and that can be a future video where we actually go through going into depth. If you've enjoyed the video, 
do leave a like down below. It massively helps the channel. I also have the Discord linked where you can ask any questions and see how the community is also getting on with these types of projects.